brothers and sisters. Spiritually speaking, spiritually speaking, the reason why many of you are stuck spiritually, not at peace spiritually. The reason why many of you do not feel your best spiritually is for a variety of reasons. One of the first reasons that a lot of African people are out of touch with themselves spiritually is we have allowed the world religions to distract us from trying to have a direct relationship with the almighty by having us focus on dogma and belief. Belief in dogma have nothing to do with building a relationship with supreme consciousness. I'm going to say it again. Belief and dogma have nothing to do with building a relationship with the divine. Focusing on beliefs and dogma has nothing to do with spirit. Belief and dogma are all about loyalty to the institution. Belief and dogma are all about loyalty to the brand. Belief and dogma is all about showing identity with your spiritual gang banging club. God doesn't care about belief and dogma. Belief and dogma are irrelevant to the spiritual journey. Religion distracts you from your spiritual journey by constantly tying you down with belief and dogma. When you leave this planet, you will not be interrogated in the next life by what you believed religiously. It is irrelevant. It only matters on earth. It does not matter in heaven. God would never make you accountable for something you cannot prove to be true. The divine would never make you accountable for something that you cannot prove to be true. Give up the dogma. Give up the doctrine and begin your journey back home to your creator. Comparing yourself to other people is another big problem. Comparing yourself to other people is another big problem. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Don't compare yourself to your brothers, your sisters, your neighbors, your friends, your sorors, your frats, your colleagues. Do not compare yourself. Your journey is uniquely yours. What you are going through is a part of your karmic path, your divine destiny. It has nothing to do with Jay-Z being a billionaire. It has nothing to do with Oprah being a billionaire. It has nothing to do with Bronny James being drafted. Don't compare yourself to other people. Your destiny that you chose in heaven at the feet of the almighty is uniquely yours. This is why we have to be cautious about tearing people away from doing things that we don't believe are in their best interests. Because the very thing that you are trying to tear somebody away from because you don't believe is in their best interest may be in their best interest spiritually. You say, don't join that church. 
It is full of exploitators. But she might need to join that church to get exploited because if she doesn't get exploited, she will suffer a worse loss later on in life. Be careful about pulling people away from their experiences. Your son may have needed that woman to experience a very bad relationship so he can avoid a much bigger loss of love later on in life. Don't deprive people of going through necessary pain so they can learn. When your daughter is dating a boy and you know he is a player, but you know he ain't going to hurt your baby too bad, but he definitely going to let her down. You may have to let her experience the temporary hurt to avoid a long-term loss. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Stop judging happiness by material gain. Another big problem with black people. You're not unhappy because you have to be. You're not miserable because you have to be. You're miserable because your definition of happiness means I got to have a whole bunch of expensive junk. Change your definition of happiness and you change your life. Change your definition of happiness and you change your life. You know why a lot of people are miserable? Because they're married to somebody who provides them with a certain quality of life. Even though they're miserable. Without my wife, I couldn't afford this. Without my husband, I couldn't afford this. But the husband and the wife are not what you need to advance spiritually. And if you're going to put your material needs in front of your spiritual needs, you'll never be happy. You can outgrow your partner. It doesn't mean he's a bad person. It doesn't mean she's a bad person, but you can outgrow somebody. Some of you have outgrown your baby moms. Some of you have outgrown your baby dads. Some of you have outgrown your husband. You've outgrown your wife. You've outgrown your fiance. I run across black women all the time at my events who pull me to the side and say, Dr. Umar, I don't know what to do. When I met my husband, we were both into weed. We was both into smoking. We was both into drinking. We was both into hanging out. We was both into showing off. We was both into buying expensive stuff. I'm not there no more, Dr. Umar. I don't need a big house. I don't need a fancy car. I'm in love with life now. I'm no longer in love with things. I'm in love with life. I'm in love with raising my kids. I'm no longer interested in competing with other black people. What do I do, Dr. Umar? What do I do, Dr. Umar? And this is what I tell black women. Black women, a black man can have babies until the day we die. A black man can have babies until the day we die. If you are still interested in building a family, you can't afford to wait forever. My sisters who are in your late 30s and early 40s, you got a couple childbearing years left. Don't waste them. You got a couple good childbearing years left. Don't waste them. The worst thing that you can regret as a black woman is staying in a relationship beyond the expiration date. The worst thing a black woman can do in her mid 30s to mid 40s is staying in a relationship because it's comfortable, although you are unfulfilled. So many black men and women 
Stay in relationships beyond the expiration date because it's comfortable and it's predictable, but it is also miserable. You're staying in that relationship because it is comfortable and predictable, but it is also miserable. Starting over ain't easy, but you might have to reboot your romance in order to reboot your life. Why are you carrying around to how much your husband weigh? He's 250 pounds. You carrying around 250 pounds of spiritual baggage. How much your wife weigh? 150 pounds. You carrying around 150 pounds of spiritual baggage. Shame. Shame. So many black people will never experience the peace of mind that awaits them in this life because you are too afraid of the unknown. Fear of the unknown has led to so many Africans wasting their damn life. You still at that tired ass job. You still at that tired ass job. Why? They have a good retirement package. So you're going to waste your whole life at a job you don't even like. You don't even like going to work, but you're going to waste your whole life because of the retirement package. Who said you're going to be alive when the retirement package comes up? Who said you're going to be here for 80 years? Who said you're going to be here for 90 years? Who said you're going to be here for 70 years? Who said you're going to be here? Life is in the now. Life ain't yesterday. Life ain't tomorrow. Life is right now. The only time you can live is in the moment. The only time you can live is in the present. The only place you can make a difference is right now. Tomorrow is an illusion that will never come. You in a house that is Pricked you. Y'all can't hear me. Y'all can't hear me. No audio. Y'all can hear me now? Can y'all hear me now, family? We good now? Okay. You done went out and bought you a $250,000 house. The first five years, it was all good. First five years, it was all good. You got a divorce or you changed jobs or the variable interest rate on the mortgage went up. You can't afford it no more. Why are you still in that house? Because you got a better house than all your siblings. You have a better house than all your cousins. You live in the best house that anybody in your family ever had. Even though it's costing you too much money. Even though it's stressing you out. Even though you don't want to be there. You're trapped in the ego of illusions. You care more about what people think than how you feel. How many black people y'all know like that? How many black people y'all know like you care more? You care more about what people think than how you feel. 
brothers and sisters, your departure from this world has already been announced. You better get right with God before it's too late. And getting right with God is about living right. It ain't about worship. We should worship the creator, but there's no better way to worship the creator than to live the right way. Right living is the greatest worship you can ever participate in. Let me say that again. Living the right way is the greatest worship you can ever participate in. You got to live the right way. What are you spending money on that you don't need? When is the last time you spent one day by yourself? You must fulfill your destiny. You have a purpose for being on earth. God doesn't make mistakes and he doesn't waste time. So your time on earth has a purpose. What is it? Have you found your purpose? Or are you so caught up competing with other black people for cars and clothes some of us are 50 years old and we haven't started to live our purpose yet. How you 50 and still ain't got, how you 40 and still don't know your purpose? Well, let me get my money right first, Dr. Umar. Once I get my money right, then I'm going to go ahead and start working on my spirituality. Who told you you're going to be around that long? Do you talk to your ancestors? Because they're all around you. Do you realize that most of the beings on earth are invisible? I'm not talking aliens. And I do have a belief that many aliens may very well be ancestors. I do have a belief of that. A lot of these so-called unidentified, I believe they're ancestors. I believe they're ancestors visiting from another dimension. The aliens are ancestors visiting from another dimension. Do you have an altar in your home? Do you have a spiritual vortex that you have built up with energy that can tap you right into communion with the universe? If you don't have an altar in your home, do you have an altar in your backyard? Do you have an altar under the big tree out front in the house? Where is your altar? Where do you go to tap into universal consciousness? Where do you go to tap into universal consciousness? Everybody needs an altar. An altar is nothing more than a spiritual vortex that you have consecrated for the purposes of prayer, meditation, and worship. That's it. By you constantly going to that room, by you constantly going to that tree, by you constantly going to that place by the river, it becomes a vortex. It is now consecrated with your unique spiritual energy. And when you go there, the ancestors are already waiting. The divinities are already waiting. The angels are already waiting. And I hate to say this to my beautiful black queens. I hate to say this to my beautiful black queens. I hate, I'm already possessed, my brother. I will admit to you, I am possessed. I have multiple ancestral personality disorder. I'm possessed. I have multiple ancestral personality disorder. Sometimes Malcolm X talks through me. Sometimes the most honorable Frederick Douglass talks through me. Sometimes Booker T. Washington talks through me. 
Sometimes Shaka Katsensa Kakona Zulu talks through me. Sometimes Huey P. Newton talks through me. Sometimes Mega, I have multiple ancestral personality disorder. You've never had the Ifa Tunde experience? Have you ever had the Ifa Tunde experience? Have you ever been to a Dr. Umar lecture? Have you not seen me transform into your favorite ancestor sometimes? Have you not sat there and watched me and said he's in a zone? That's not him. He's channeling Kwame Nkrumah. He's channeling Sekou Toure. He's channeling Samora Michelle. He's channeling Deedon Kamathi. He's channeling Henry Holland Garnett. He's channeling Dr. King. You haven't seen me when my multiple ancestral personality disorder takes over. Yes, I suffer from multiple ancestral personality disorder. But what I wanted to say to my African queens, what I wanted to say to my African queens, you are blocking your chakra. With that weave in the wig. Black women, I know you don't want to hear this, but I got to give it to you. You are blocking your crown chakra with that weave in that wig. Your hair, your hair, your natural hair is an antenna to the universe. Your crown chakra collaborates with your hair to communicate with the universe. If you got weave and wig, I'm just being honest, ladies. You are suffocating your spirit. You are suffocating your crown chakra. Hat, weave, wig, whatever you want to call it. Let your scalp breathe, black woman. Our spirit is in our head. It is in our heart. It is in our belly. That's why you shouldn't always be stuffed up with food because you don't get those messages through your belly. Overeating is not good. You disturb the belly. You have a consciousness in your